Hi everyone. In this template, this is a new template which is to create campaign. It's a campaign brief template. And it's very important template if you're launching a specific product or service in a specific market with a specific goal in mind about your campaign. Okay. So in this demo example, we are launching Philips Power Pro bagless vacuum cleaner in Dutch market. Okay. So uh, the template is very specific. It's called campaign brief template and we are briefing our marketing department about end-to-end -end campaign that we are going to launch in the Dutch market and these are certain parameters of this campaign. So let's go them go with these parameters one by one. Okay, so how will this campaign help us achieve our business business key how to win goals? Okay, now when when you think about powerless or oh sorry the power pro bagless vacuum cleaner so bagless vacuum cleaner when you, when you think about that dyson is market leader and any campaign that we want to launch should be in one to one competitive comparison or competitive benchmarking right benchmarking we need to benchmark against Dyson so Dyson bagless vacuum cleaner was a significant innovation in the industry and this campaign will likely help us achieve our key goals by helping us innovate similarly right we are we are not Dyson we are sitting here at Philips in the marketing department of the Philips we are launching this campaign we want to launch our new bagless vacuum cleaner in Dutch market. So that's our goal, how to win goal, right? By understanding how other companies have successfully marketed their products, we can learn what works and apply it to our own business, right? This campaign will also help us to understand our target audience better, allowing us to create messaging that resonates with them. Great. Now this campaign will unlock new value space in our core portfolio using uh, innovative technology and design. So that's, that's the goal. We want to focus on the innovative technology and design. And that's also kind of motto of uh, Philips. You know, Philips, whenever any product Philips launch, focus is on innovation so in a sense this template is picking up the key branded um, goals and objective or key theme of a brand and for Philips innovative technology and design is a key theme right now we will be launching a new vacuum cleaner so I'm reading it on behalf of Philips uh, as a head of marketing who is handling the launch in Dutch market about their bagless vacuum cleaner. So we will be launching a new vacuum cleaner that is lightweight and easy to use without leaving any mess or frustration behind. Right? That's, that's our main idea here. And what is the critical challenge for this campaign? The critical challenge of uh, this campaign or company is uh, reaching consumers in the Dutch market and introducing them to their lightweight easy to use vacuum cleaners. They will need to create a marketing campaign specifically tailored to this market and resonating with the Dutch consumers, right? This is the main challenge of this campaign. So are we clear that if we are working in, in Philips and if we are launching this in Dutch market, our main goal is to create campaign content, anything around that campaign is specifically tailored to Dutch consumers. And that is the critical challenge of this campaign. Now, in recent year, vacuum cleaners sales have been in decline in Dutch market. This is likely due to a combination of high awareness and low consideration. Consumers are aware of the existence of vacuum cleaners, right? That's, that's the typical problem of high awareness and low consideration. They are aware but they don't consider it, right? But often do not consider them when purchasing. This can be due to several factors, including poor marketing, poor product quality, poor design, 
dissatisfaction which is uh, which was not addressed by the brand right as a result many companies seeing their sales decline and the vacuum cleaner market is becoming increasingly saturated right this is the challenge the this is kind of a sales challenge uh, for this campaign and um, typically for all the uh, consumer product which sort of become commodity in the end uh, high awareness and low consideration is challenge was the main reason for declining sales and we need to address this in our campaign that is that is sort of critical challenge and also how to adapt it to the dutch market now what are the objectives and kpi of this campaign the objective or kpi uh, of this campaign are to increase awareness of the brand was brand philips and product bagless vacuum cleaner among dutch consumers and to generate sales lead that can be followed up okay we are focusing on a very specific objective sales leads sales lead not brand loyalty not brand awareness of course we want to create brand awareness right and the product of brand awareness is also generate sales lead um but in the end our kpi or objective is through increased brand awareness we want to generate sales leads that can be followed up the kpi for this campaign will be based on the website traffic so you will monitor website traffic social media engagement and conversions either in terms of lead generated or sales made so this is what we are going to measure the performance of this campaign now increase penetration of the market by percentage so this is something that uh, is not specified here because uh, right now the template is not structured in this way that it can quantify the percentage but someone in the marketing department with the insights the consumer insight should be able to specify that currently we occupy we are uh, at 5% penetration of the dutch market and we want to increase from 5% to 20% in 6 month 1 year time and then what is our strategy right and this is our key driver for increasing the revenue and and, and growth of uh, the company or a specific cluster that uh, produce bagless vacuum cleaner in this big brand philips who is our core audience for this campaign and why the core audience for this campaign is people who are busy looking for a clean house but do not have time to sit on the couch holding the bag <laughs> very interesting right so we are targeting people um who hate changing bags right they don't have time they are very busy and and uh, they they don't like this uh, big stuff they hate this they desire lightweight easy to use vacuum cleaner that does the job without leaving any mess or frustration behind now converting emerging approval seekers because excess percent are dissatisfied with the current product now this is also one of the sales argument or campaign tactic that you want to focus on a specific segment in our in our target audience which are emerging approval seekers because uh, some percentage of them are dissatisfied with their current product so for philips what uh, what it makes sense to position themselves as this we are the innovative uh, we have the innovative design in this market with lightweight easy to use vacuum cleaner that offers the freedom to clean without hassle of carrying bags and filters plus they should also offer big savings on vacuum uh, on our wax on our vacuum cleaner during the post christmas sale or pre christmas christmas sale so i think um, the the goal here is uh, how to how to capture the people who are just dissatisfied with what current product they are using and then they are just emerging approval seekers this is a kind of a seg- segment within your audience group now how do these audience think and do today with respect to 
with respect to our product not about lifestyle information but with respect to our product they think that our product is easy to use and lightweight that's what they think okay or that's what their desire they also think that it does not leave any mess or frustration behind so you can see that this is a specific core value proposition that comes from our market research and it's getting repeated also in this text of the output right however they do not have any experience with our product yet so this is what they think but they don't have any experience with the product right so that's what they think that when they think about Philips bagless vacuum cleaner it should be easy to use and it should be lightweight now the next consideration is perpetual belief and behavioral belief you need to think this to apart and see how it works together so perpetual belief is a belief in something never ending or constant so is a kind of never ending problem or constant problem and behavioral belief is behaving as if a specific belief is true now in this context uh, of this uh, particular campaign perpetual belief perpetual belief would be fear of failure that all these vacuum cleaner they fail they are not perfect so this is our perpetual belief this is constant belief and behavioral belief would be the act of not investing in a new vacuum cleaner right so i know as a consumer that most of this vacuum cleaner sucks and i also have from my behavior a belief that i'm not going to invest in a new vacuum cleaner right both beliefs are holding people back from purchasing a new vacuum cleaner now this is very significant insight right now you can design your toolkit your um, assets images uh, paid ad initiatives uh, your blogs content uh, product pages uh, or in demo use targeting to negate these two beliefs right if you can somehow uh, smartly design a campaign strategy or assets creation strategy which is around circumventing these two belief then you are going to easily penetrate into this specific segment of uh, of the market now what do we want our audience to think or do differently we want our audience to think there are better opinion options that are currently available and also i think it is related with this belief so if you want to uh, kind of defeat this barrier then you want your audience to think that there are better options that that then currently available than their current product and we also want them to be aware of the six mistakes that can be made using a vacuum cleaner okay that's interesting i'm not about i'm not sure about six six mistakes we can we can run through it six mistakes that can be made using a vacuum cleaner so you can easily um maybe point it out or be more specific we are i'm just going through this template i'm even not touching any further creation or further ex, further extension you can quickly see here the six mistakes can be not using the correct attachment using the wrong type of vacuum cleaner not emptying the dustbin regularly uh forgetting to turn off the machine not keeping the appliance clean so these are the mistakes and if you talk about these mistakes then perhaps the person who is thinking that uh, is current product suck sucks right is per current vacuum clean all current vacuum cleaner sucks then maybe this person might observe some mistakes that this person is doing uh, this mistake or is using wrong type of vacuum cleaner that uh, or not uh, properly using the attachments correctly right so there can be these mistakes you can educate this person to break this belief that is that all this uh, current product that is using all these vacuum cleaner are not useful there there is all fear of failure that fear of failure 
you can uh, put arguments against that fear of failure by using these arguments against uh, those six mistakes that people make uh, and this is what uh, this strategy or campaign uh, ask us or giving us an idea or insight that make use of these insights so you want them to think differently from their current belief that is the idea here that's the core deep idea here if you are following me right now okay so what is the innovation or superiority differentiation and where we better than the competition so for Philips we are the only company offering lightweight easy to use vacuum cleaner that does the job without leaving any mess or frustration behind so that's that's a kind of a key core uh, value proposition promise to the consumers now this campaign also we should know our weakness uh, so what are our weakness and where is the competition better than us so our weakness include lack of awareness of our brand in the Dutch market which is not true Philips is number one brand in the Dutch market but hypothetically uh, I'm not sure for vacuum cleaner it can be the case that people in uh, or, or the segment is a specific segment of people are not aware about the vacuum cleaner or its um, innovative design being lightweight and easy to use vacuum cleaner in Dutch market and a lack of marketing resources to compete with larger brands so perhaps maybe this is not the right insight as a weakness and I cannot uh, sort of corroborate this idea but I'm sure there must be some interpretation behind it right and the competition is better than us in terms of marketing budget and reach as well as product quality so this can be something that can be verified I'm not sure about this but still it says very very significant and meaningful insight to either validate or maybe you have right data point to reject this insight from AI right now finally who are our key competitors direct and category disruptors the top rivals of the vacuum cleaner are shark Bissell Hoover Orec Dirt Devil Electrolux 7 so these are the key competitors right uh, when you are doing a campaign brief you need to really go detail with each competitor and maybe I'll make another template where you can go on the key financials or uh, core value propositions of each one of your competitor and then you can create a messaging strategy which sort of position yourself against those competitor I think I have already done or explained this using another template customer decision, decision journey template uh, how to position your brand against another brand with a specific product idea and that same thing can be applied here but I'll I'll come come back maybe with more specific template or idea on this so for now this is again a remarkable advancement in crawl queues ability to go deeper with the campaign ideas create campaign insights and this is not possible without upfront heavy research that is already performed on the three phases of the funnel and it's all automated using reddit Cura, google and all uh, curated research and at this stage we have not injected anything specific inside from Philips right we have not taken any data imagine if we can plug in all the data that is there inside Philips how significant or valuable these insights can turn out right for, for someone who is managing this campaign inside Philips so thank you for watching this I hope this is very useful to understand the capabilities of crawl queue and uh, I I'm sure I'm going to surprise you more and more with the new ideas with the new creative briefs templates that are possible with crawl queue thank you bye bye take care